Hi everybody, it's Donna with Dollar Tree Hauls and more with Donna. Let's make some magnets. This DIY craft is not my original idea and this will be your supply list. Everything pretty much that I'm using for this video came from the Dollar Tree with the exception of the glue that I'm using to glue the box together. Uh, if you find a, a calendar at the Dollar Tree, uh, they had a lot last year or the beginning of this year as well. Uh, I got this one recently um, that I use. I cut these out of the back. Um, I've already cut a few out to show you uh, from some different calendars, but I cut these out of the back. Um, you could, once you, you could lay it out and trace it if you want to, but I choose not to do that. You'll see how I do mine. I try not to move the camera, but I have it sitting on this tripod and I don't know how stable it is on the ground. Um, so, uh, but that's what I do. We start off with a calendar, cut out the little squares. Here's two right here that we're going to use for this, uh, one we're going to use for this video. And, uh, I get the jingle blocks at the Dollar Tree. Uh, at Christmas time, you will see a bigger package about, tw you get about twice as much as this, uh, for a dollar. Um, if you can pick it, those up, there's 36 blocks in here. I think the other one has maybe 70, 72, I'm not sure. But if you can pick up the bigger package, that's the better deal when it comes to making these because um, it stretches your dollar. Uh, especially if you're gonna be setting up at craft shows, I sell these magnets for $2 a piece at my craft shows. Um, so let's get started. You're gonna start with three Jenga blocks. Uh, I take them out of the package. Uh, you can use E6000 glue. I'm using this Art Skills Crafters Closet Permanent Adhesive uh, that I bought, I believe, at Dollar Tree or Family, or Dollar General or Family Dollar. Um, I usually use E6000, but I couldn't find it uh, there and didn't want to go into Hobby Lobby. So, um, and this, if I just twist this one time, it doesn't glue together and it works better for me in that respect, but the E6000 lid is really hard for me to get off um, after I've used it, So, and I haven't had any problems with this. But it's, it's thinner glue, and a lot goes a long way. Glue the sides of two of the blocks. Okay, so that's the first one and you're gonna lay it right on top. This glue, like I said, is really thin and see how it squeezes out the side. Um, so I'm not really a big fan of that. I usually have to wipe it off um, that excess because it's kind of, you just, it, like I said, a lot goes a long way and you just don't need a whole lot of it. Um, but uh, anyway, from the angle that I'm at, I'm having a hard time seeing exactly what I'm doing. So anyway, you place them on top of each other like that uh, and then I try to make sure I line them up really good uh, before I lay them on the surface where they're going to dry. Okay, as I stated, you will let them dry overnight on a surface where you can pull them up without sticking. Metal, plastic, something hard where they won't stick to the table. I mean, mine will stick, but I can pull them up without breaking the, the wood. Um, but I try to leave them on a flat surface so they can dry. When you're finished, they're going to look like this. And then I will take the, uh, and I already took the time to cut these out so y'all would not have to see me cutting them out. Um, I will place this on the back and kind of eye it uh, where I think that it's going to be in the middle. And as you can see, there's some extra and I just trim it off once I've glued it on there uh, with the Mosh Posh. So you're gonna take your Mosh Posh and uh, I give it a really good coat uh, all over the magnet. And I'm not an expert at this by any means, but um, and then I will place that there, turn it over, kind of eye it to make sure it's centered. And then whatever is left over, I will turn that off. Usually I use the pink, their pink or peach colored scissors uh, at the uh, Dollar Tree that are um, detail scissors, scissors, the little detail scissors. Um, I really like those for this tr for trimming this, um, and you can slide it around a little bit until you get it where you want it, uh, and then I will just trim the edges.
Okay, so I trimmed the edges off and there is the top of it. And then you're going, this says your life is your message to the world, make sure it's inspiring. I'm going to put another layer of Mod Podge over this to make sure that it's going to stick down really well. And I usually try to just go ahead and touch the sides up a little bit so that the edges uh, are getting a little bit of that Mod Podge too, so that um, it doesn't um, rise back up. This is not the best brush, but this is the only one. Like I said, a lot of my crafting supplies are at Dina's and I had enough to do magnets and that's pretty much it because I told her I needed to make some. I'm making them for gifts for my doctor's offices. Um, so there you go. I left that dry overnight again. So the first night I glue the three box together like this, let it sit overnight to dry. The second night I will mosh posh the image on it and mosh posh the top, sit it, sit it and let it dry. Cause I usually make several, you know, like a dozen at a time. So I'm, you know, mod podging, sitting it to dry, mod podging it, sitting it to dry. So I'll let them dry overnight. And uh, when they are dry, they will look like this. And then you will glue uh, your magnet to the back of it. And I use the same adhesive to glue the back. And I tried to do this video and try to do it again. That's why there's a little bit of glue still on there. So <laughs> we had already tried this once. <laughs> so I bought the magnets. I think I told you at the Dollar Tree um, you can also get them at Walmart or Hobby Lobby. Um, these I used here are actually the ones from Walmart because they're bigger and um, they're a little bit stronger magnets. But I have used the smaller ones from the Dollar Tree and they work just fine. Uh, this wood is really thin and doesn't weigh a lot. So those thinner, um, the thinner ones are going to work. I'm going to show you a few that I've already made. Okay, I'm gonna show you a few that I have made already and I happen to be sitting at a magnet table. This is our outside uh, table that we have in our side yard. Um, and I'll just show you a few that I've made. All of these calendars came from the Dollar Tree. Um, I think this was this was the same one and these are different ones. Um, but I have been making them. One of my doctor's offices has quite a few people that I've met. Uh, the other one doesn't have as many, so. Um, but I need to get with one of the girls there and just make sure. Um, and the ones that I'm actually making for my doctors, I don't have because uh, they what I want theirs to say doesn't come on the back of a calendar. So um, I had to print something off the internet. When you use paper that is just regular paper, you have to be real careful if you're trimming after you've uh, glued it because it's not as thick. This one says, be kind, you matter, you're enough. So anyway, this is how I make these Jingle Blocks magnets. Thank you again for bearing with me for my first instructional video. And I appreciate it so much that you are watching my channel. Please subscribe, please like, please comment, and please share to help me grow my channel. I appreciate it so much. God bless you. Have a great week and see you soon.